Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December 19th of 2021. Well, it is titled planetary alignment over Italy. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an alignment of four planets and our moon. And we see them all in a straight line. Now, why would the planets end up in a straight line? And this all comes down to the fact that our solar system is essentially a very flat plane. So if you imagine drawing the solar system on a piece of paper and putting the sun there and drawing orbits for the planets around it, that really is not a bad approximation to how thin the solar system is. Now there are of course the planets are tilted a little bit relative to that but they essentially orbit in that same plane. And since Earth is in that plane as well as we look out we always see the sun moon and planets along a line in the sky that we call the ecliptic. And the area around that is the region where we will see these objects and the constellations that they pass through are common ones that you're familiar with which are the constellations of the zodiac. Now the constellations of the zodiac are important not because they are very bright and prominent constellations in the sky. They generally aren't. In fact, many of the zodiacal constellations are relatively faint and lack bright stars altogether. However, they are important because of their positioning and they are those constellations through which the sun, moon and planets will pass. So here we see Venus down towards the horizon. And then just up into the left of that is the planet Saturn and up into the left of that is Jupiter. And those are three of the five planets that were known to the ancients. The two that are not visible there would of course be Mars and Mercury. Mercury is always very hard to see because it's down close to the uh, horizon. And Mars just does not happen to be in this part of the sky right now. Now off to the far upper left, we do see Uranus. Uranus is not a planet that is visible to the naked eye. It's kind of on the edge of naked eye visibility. So it was the first planet to actually be discovered back in the 1700s when it became the seventh planet. And then we see our moon. Now, of course, the moon dominates these in terms of brightness. And it also follows that same path along uh, what we call the ecliptic. So we can see that all of the planets will follow roughly a line. And you can imagine drawing a line through these five objects and getting a pretty good fit uh, to a straight line as we look at them in the sky. So a chance to be able to see these and Venus will remain the evening star for the remainder of the year. So you've still got a little bit of time before it disappears into sunlight as it will start getting lower and lower and then will reappear uh, next year as the morning star in the morning sky right before sunrise. So that was our picture of the day for December 19th of 2021. It was titled Planetary Alignment over Italy. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Comet Fireball. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.